In this video, we're going to talk about end behavior for various functions. So we're going to look at uh, a couple different polynomials, and we're only going to be looking at the graph and describing end behavior there. I'll do another video with end behavior from an equation. And then there's another video where I talk about the zeros the turning points, relative maximum and minimum, absolute maximum and minimum. And we put that together with end behavior, and that can help us describe our graph, uh, actually draw it out, and um, see what's happening with our function. So here, end behavior of a polynomial, well, we're trying to figure out how does the graph behave on the, the left and the right side of our graph. So we say as x gets close to infinity, so as we go to the right forever, or as x gets close to negative infinity, so going to the left forever, what is happening with our y values? So how that's written, and you see this a lot more uh, after algebra in, in calculus and other higher level math courses, uh, but you may see it some in, um, in your higher level algebra courses. As x goes to infinity, f of x goes to what? So that's how we read that. So as x goes to positive infinity, that, that means we go to the right forever, f of x, or our y values, are going towards what? Are they level, leveling off at a specific number, or are they going up to infinity or down to negative infinity? Then we also have to value as we go to the left, as x goes to negative infinity, f of x goes to what value? That can also be written as the limit as x goes to positive infinity for f of x is equal to what? And the limit as x goes to negative infinity for f of x is equal to what? So let's look at our two examples from a graph. So this first example here, when we're talking about end behavior, all we're looking at is the ends of our graph, okay? hence the term end behavior. So as my x values go to the left forever, so I'm going x towards negative infinity, what's happening to my y values, or f of x? So as I go to the left here, my y values, or my graph, goes up. So that's going up forever, so f of x is equal to infinity. Or we can say as x goes to negative infinity, f of x goes to infinity. So we'd write it like this. Then as we go to the right, so as x goes towards positive infinity, um, what is happening to our y values there? Well, let me scroll down here a little bit. Our graph is going up, similar to what it did over here. So our y values are going up towards infinity. And so we get the basically the same thing. As x goes to positive infinity, f of x also goes to positive infinity. So that would be written like this. All right, so there's two different ways that you can write uh, how our end behavior acts. So this example, what we see as we go to the left, as x goes to negative infinity, our y values, or our graph, is going to go down forever. So our y values go to negative infinity. So this is the most common response that you're going to have with end behavior, is that it goes up forever or down forever. Occasionally, you might have a horizontal line, or in this case, maybe you've got a curve uh, or a rational where the graph levels off and goes to a specific value, okay? So let's just assume that this graph flattens out at y value of 3. Then we would say the limit of f of x as x goes to infinity, so as x goes forever to the right, the limit of f of x is equal to 3 because it's going gonna, it's gonna to get to 3 and then it stays 3 forever forever. Um, as you go to the right.